uh, hope, doubt, and anxiety. <laughs> and I think Milton is right that um, the government-centric view and the islands are, are uh, perhaps two sides of the same coin. But quick review. My hope would be for the user range scenario as being the closest thing to what uh, I would hope the future looks like. My doubt is reserved for some specific language in the uh, government is beautiful version of the world. Specifically, it says citizens and industry worldwide demand that their governments take center stage. Um, that, that I have some real doubt about. I, I do not doubt that governments, some governments will continue to demand that governments take center stage. <laughs> and that's not surprising. Uh, what I think is doubtful is that citizens and industry will unite to demand that outcome because I think they will reserve healthy skepticism for the capabilities and the role uh, of government. So should government be on the stage? Yes. Center stage, time out. My anxiety is really reserved for the island scenario. Uh, it's so credible because, indeed, as we know, many elements of that are, are starting to happen. And I think my anxiety arises from the fact, too, that I think the scenario got the impacts right. Uh, opportunity for the poorest would be the ones hurt the most. Uh, the rich nations would have opportunity restricted, but frankly would do relatively okay, thank you, as a, as a wealthy island. So I think in, in that scenario, we'd be left with kind of regional ripples of economic opportunity instead of a rising tide globally of, uh, of innovation and opportunity. So I, of course, um, didn't limit myself to those three. I would say that the outcome should be a combination of user reins and government reins, R-E-I-N-S so that we would have, uh, not surprisingly, an appropriate on-stage role for government, <laughs> but not, um, not in control. The proper roles, you can envision a Venn diagram pretty easily, where the private sector has roles to expand opportunity and innovate. The government has a role to curb excesses. The civil society has a clear role to engage, to educate, and to enlighten. And I, while I think that's a pretty good description of the IGF with those uh, concentric circles, the missing player, as observed earlier, the largely missing player is the private sector and corporate voice. <laughs>